with our political debate. Let me just remind you of the panelists today. We have from the African National Congress, Matabo Lieto. She's a member of the Provincial Executive Committee. We have Dirk Smith from the Democratic Alliance. He's a councillor. Gift May is from the Congress of the People. And Freedom Front Plus is represented by Susan Taliad. We spoke of uh, the economic development, or what some would say lack thereof in the area. We spoke uh, about social ills. We spoke about corruption. But uh, Mr. May, from COPE wants to touch on the issue of some of the social ills uh, that we're seeing in uh, communities, alcoholism, gangsterism and drug abuse. Please do uh, have your say. Thanks, Ayanda. But maybe just before I do that, I think I need to respond to what the mayor said in terms of the AG report. South Africa does not need progress. South Africa needs compliance. That is the bottom line. In terms of the leaderships that the mayor said that uh, it's out there, it's only uh, for the pri privileged African National Congress members who have cuts. So if you don't have one, you, don't, you are not entitled to that. Now, uh, Ayanna, I think we need to just uh, dissect the word so so socioeconomic conditions. Uh, first of all, I think South Africa deserves to exactly hear what it, what it means. First of all, it means there's high employment rates in our, in our, in our society, which, which leads to a moral decay. Number one, gangsterism, prostitution, which is high. Our, our kids are, are, are using this as a means of income on a day-to-day -day basis. We have street kids. You can just walk around here at night, in, in, even during the day. Wait, during any town of, 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 of Machabing, you'll, you'll see that. Uh, we have child health homes because of the, the mines closing down, HIV and AIDS killing our people. Our kids are now having to, to play parents uh, to, 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 to their siblings. And that, that can't be right. That's why we say we are really lacking a political will within, within uh, 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 Machabing as a whole. In your opinion, what's the solution? The solution is for us to ensure that, one, that reskilling is done. Secondly, that uh, all these learners who are having challenges in terms of being child-headed, that they be given uh, special projects in terms of Yosasa, that they be taken into those projects and be capacitated, taken to schools and educated because they cannot afford to do these things by themselves, or else they'll be left to gangsterism and prostitution. Well, the ANC will argue that that is what they're doing, hearing from uh, Melieto. She did mention reskilling, she did mention uh, education, she mentioned a number of projects, but let's hear from the Freedom Front Plus and perhaps uh, any innovative, uh, innovative uh, solutions that you're pro uh, proposing. I think from my side, unemployment seems to be the main catalyst for the problems faced by helpless uh, victims. People drink and do drugs because they are frustrated and angry and they are unemployed. If you are unemployed, uh, no income, what is your solution? Uh, I think uh, um, closing down of mines, 90,000 uh, uh, work job losses in the free state for the past five years. People are desperate for, uh, for jobs. And uh, to work to a better South Africa, we, work to, we have to work to, together. It's not a one-man solution. We have to take hands and, and work f uh, to better life for all, mm. not for only an elect few. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, and now the the words "ghost town" have been used to describe uh, Virginia uh, specifically because of the closure of the mines. I want to know today: is there hope? So, Mr. Smith, perhaps you can uh, give us an answer. Is there hope, in your opinion? Absolutely. Uh, like I said, we come back to the, the where we started with uh, we need political will. Um, all the infrastructure uh, that was left behind by the mines is currently uh, being uh, broken down and stolen and carried away where factories, housing and so forth could have been done. So um, what I'm saying is that, yes, the infrastructure exists. We are on the main arterial routes of road networks, very good road networks, rail networks. We've even got a river running through our town. So there, there's, there's the ingredients to bake an economic cake or yeah. So I think it must just be utilized. But I think um, maybe the electorate should give the DA a chance to run this municipality so we can show you how to govern like we did in Cape Town. <laughs> I've heard the phrase, borrow us your votes. The, the DA That's saying that, that many work. times. Okay, in closing, perhaps you can, 30 seconds, uh, just uh, share what is on your heart for this particular debate and these uh, elections coming up. In 30 seconds each, May, let's start with you, please. 
The ANC is not a, I mean, South Africa, uh, the ANC does not use a federal system or a unitary system, so we're not talking Cape Town, we're talking South Africa as a whole. But I think the ANC continues to be committed in fighting corruption. Because it is us as the ANC who has said we are going to prohibit officials of government to make business with government. We are going to make sure that we deal with a f a price fixing, a your tender a rigging. And for Virginia as an area, people of Virginia can confirm that we have a good story to tell can confirm that we are taking South Africa forward because the programs that are implemented by the ANC are not benefiting the ANC members only. Uh, with due respect, Mr. May has recently been appointed as a principal by the ANC government. Now it cannot be correct to say uh, the programs are benefiting the ANC members only. The ANC government represents everybody and it works for everybody and we are saying People of the Free State, people of Virginia are beneficiaries of the good story that we're talking about. And they are going to move with us towards the 7th of May to vote the African National Congress so that the good plans that we have, like your National Development Plan, that are taking us forward to the 30 years, we are going to realize mm -hmm. it together with the people of South Africa. Okay, together so with Mr. Mr. May. May Mr. is a May, beneficiary together with the of the programs of the ANC. seconds, it starts now. Uh, Ayanna, first of all, I think South Africans deserve to know the truth. The truth is, indeed, our AG reports reflect bad uh, systems in place in our municipalities. You have words that continuously come up, fruitless expenditure, irregular expenditure, unauthorized expenditure. Now, South Africans need to know that the current government, take note, the current government, because I believe on the 7th of May, that the political landscape is going to change. It's going to change and people are going to vote for a better government, a government with visionary leadership and a government with honest leaders. So I believe that the right way to go on the 7th of May is no other way but to vote for the Congress of People. So we urge all the, the, the people out there in South Africa to take the right step or to take a step in the right direction and vote uh, for a better government. Uh, Mr. Smith, I think you'd beg to differ. <laughs> well, uh, uh, he already borrowed the half of my 30 seconds. Um, the DA says, open opportunity society for all. I think this election coming, uh, some of the crucial things we must look at is our youth, getting our youth educated, getting our teachers properly educated and not dumbing down the curriculum, and then creating safety. If you have education and a safe environment, the rest comes automatically. And that's what the DA will actually stand for and what we'll be able to achieve because we go right down to the root problem of looking where the problem exists. And that's where people are not educated, there's no more discipline, then your gangsterism and those kind of things start coming to the front. But I think this election is going to be a, an interesting one. I think um, the Inkandla affair has its own little flavor there, you know, so, but from my side, I want to thank you for the opportunity and, um, and for people to say, vote DA. Interesting, it will be indeed. Uh, Susan Talia to FF Plus, uh, your closing comments, please. Uh, I think from my side, from a freedom front, um, work together is, uh, is, is a uh, main thing for us and it is important, for, uh, it's important to remain in God and ask for strength and guidance when you are in a position of power. If you want to be big, it's important to serve. And to serve all the people of South Africa. Servant leadership, I think, is very important. Let's leave it there. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for your time. We're going to continue with this broadcast. We'll be hearing from the Machabing Mayor uh, in just a moment. Stay with us.